everybody. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. How you uh, doing? Just, yes, hold on. And I don't and I'm gonna have to adjust I'm gonna have to X out of speech chat and try to bring it back because it didn't it did because I like speech chat to work today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can adjust my. Oh, oh there you yeah, go. Right. Speech chat working. Hi, Yay. Gordon. Yay. Let's see if I can get this. So right. nice for you to join us. And he would join us on panel if he could, but he he can only stream from his phone and through and through StreamYard. It's given him a big problem. He buffers all the time. Oh, really? So, and he can stream directly on YouTube, but he can't stream through StreamYard and. He tried two weeks ago. He I invited him on the panel and it, it went all it went pretty good, but he said he, he I didn't know, but he said he kept buffering. Oh, that stinks. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, it's like sleeting here right now. Did you get a lot of snow last night or yesterday or no. today? No yeah, snow. Well, it's cold, but no snow. We got like snow showers. It hasn't laid, but this is sort of like sleety right now. Um, did you say Grayscale got a ton of snow and, uh, it well not a ton, but it's all white covered. You know, it's, it's insane. This weather. Look. So we're going to, we're, we're doing today. Tell Diane, Diana, what are we doing? Today? <laughs> the challenge is painting with one color, but what because for the non-artists you probably don't know black and white are not considered colors so we are painting with one i guess you would call it one hue hues are the colors and i am painting with okay and so you're allowed to pick you have to pick one color plus black and and plus you can use black and white black and white is allowed because when you mix white with a color it, it creates a tint that a tint means it makes it light when you um when you add black to a color it creates a shade a shade is all the dark the dark the dark shade of the color so now the thing with red and white is red and white creates pink all different shades of pink so i am going to use red white and black and i also have pre-mixed shades of pink and so that's my one color i'm using red and i'm using red but but like, it's just weird that red and white kind of creates a whole new, not really, it's not really another color because instead of calling it light red, like, like everybody, it's the only color that you, it creates its own color. Cause like, if you mix blue and white, we call it light blue. If you mix green and white, we call it light green. If you, and so on and so on. But when you, but when we, you mix red and white, people don't call it light red, they call it pink. So don't be confused when you're like, oh, but red and white, and she's doing red and white and pink. It's like, anyway, I taught this for 25 years about tint, mixing colors, creating tints and shades. Oh, I guess you can't see that, but oh my goodness. Look at that out there. It is coming Look, down. I don't know if you can see through my window there. Gotta, gotta, it's crummy. So you're getting, oh, no, no snow. But it, it, it seems cold enough for snow, but we're not having snow. Yeah, it's uh, oof, miserable. Um, So Positive Vibes is in. Hi, Positive Vibes. Hi, Positive Vibes. So nice to, for you to join us. I am trying to arrange my camera so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm going to, my thing is I'm going to paint, I'm going to do a cow. And then if I have time, I'm going to do a butterfly. So I'm going to pick one color. Since Diana picked red, I think I'm going to go with maybe this deep turquoise. And I'm using gouache today. So. Oh, Clint, you changed the name of your channel. Before it was Clint's Shabby Chic Crafts. Now you're calling, now you, call, you just changed the name of your channel to Clint's Jewelry Designs and More. Ah, jewelry designs. How interesting. Oh, he does everything. He, I mean, he's basically, you know, a crafter that does all kinds of things. He was showing me when he joined my panel two weeks ago, he was showing me all the bead, bead jewelry, bead doorknob decorate, decorations, um, 
all kinds. Yes, necklaces made out of puka shells. You know, those white oh, puka shells. Yeah. Um, oh, I bet so I guess I guess he changed the name of his channel to show that ba he mostly must do jewelry designs, I guess. Do you mostly do jewelry, jewelry designs, Clint? jewelry designs and more said yeah okay <laughs> i love that thing that's really cool i know sometimes we're talking and, it, and it, it's like talking when we're talking but i don't care the, the convenience of it makes up for that even though my yeah. little <laughs> okay <laughs> that's nice yeah that's good that's nice See, that helps a lot because the speech chat helps a lot because otherwise I only I check chat periodically and I think I'm checking chat enough but there have been comments here and there over the past where like oh she only checks chat every once in a while and it's like and so like even though you think you're checking chat enough it's like uh, it's not enough it maybe probably isn't enough and if, every now and then when I've gone over a, a past live stream that I've done and then like the right after the live stream was over and I want to check in the chat to see do, what comments did I miss? Jewelry designs and more. Said you have channel Mary. And I yeah, she does. But hold on, hold on. So then and when I look, go back and look, inevitably I always miss comments and I'm like, "How did I miss that comment? I thought I caught every single comment." No, inevitably every single live stream I will miss comments that I totally didn't know. Yes, yes, Clint, Mary, Mary's channel's linked down below. Please, please um, subscribe to her channel. It's linked down below. She's called Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Artist Studio. That's Mary's channel. It's Pittsburgh Artist Studio. It's linked at the bottom. It's linked in the top of the description box. So yes, please um, join and subscribe yeah. to her channel. Thank you. Well, we're so happy to be back. I was so busy these last couple of weeks trying to get this book done that I'm working on, but I am I'm not even close. Yeah, a book that you have to do 75 illustrations in for, right? Is that right? Yeah. And she wants what? me to have it done by June. I says, I don't know. I, I just can't get it done. You know, I mean, 75 I illustrations, that's incomprehensible to yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm not that fast. This one picture that I'm working on now. 30 hours a week for like maybe a month. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Uh, it's taken me a week and I'm still not finished with it. Jeez. She, she's expecting a lot from me this time. He, he said you might need to tag to see... Yes. Um, if you're trying to look at Mary's yeah. link in my description box, yes, they never post the full link. You have to press on that link and then it'll take you to Mary's channel and then it, it will take you to Mary's channel. You can't copy and paste that link. You cannot copy and paste that link. You have to click on that link and, and just let it take you to Mary's channel and then you can subscribe. You can't copy and paste those links. Yeah. Yeah, I missed those couple weeks. It's been, uh, I've been busy. <laughs> oh, been last crazy. week I had to take off. So I was only one, uh, last week I really physically did not feel well last last Tuesday. So I, I canceled wow. it. But the week really? before that, because Mary's been off for two weeks. The week before that, I, I had, I invited Clint. Clint was up here. And then also uh, this woman, a oh, classy cookery, an Indian oh. lady from California joined me on panel. Oh, nice. That's nice. So I'm doing shades of shades and tints of red. And if you missed my explanation, for those people that don't know, shades and tints of red are what we call pink. And I, I can only use my metallic paints in my art journal. Unfortunately, I love my metallic paints, but um, when I go to, if I put them in paintings that I, if I'm going to put them in paintings that I have to like trying to take pictures of to sell or to put in a show or to submit somewhere to be in a show, I have a big problem with the metallic paints 
reflecting light oh glaring it's horrible so i'm supposed to take my i'm supposed to take photos in sunlight the sunlight glares on the metallic on the metallic paint so bad so then i tried all these other things and then i then i tried different locations nothing was working nothing i mean inside too and then finally i i put it on a chair in my room which was not with not, light not shining directly on it and i got the best photo that way and I'm like, that is so much trouble. I really guess I have to avoid using metallic paints in like my good paintings or something. I'll be darn. Until I find, unless I find a solution that would reduce the glare. Like, I don't know, clear gesso on top. I don't know if that would reduce glare. Oh, maybe, maybe it would have to be a matte. Yeah, well, like a, matte. well, that's yeah, what I, some, oh yeah, it's like a matte. Maybe a, a matte medium. Maybe a matte medium. Yeah. yeah I have to try it. I have to experiment. That might work. I recently found out, and I've been using stencils for many years, and I, I would always clean my stencils after using them. But I recently found out from these people that are like, they make their own stencils. They're stencil experts. And they, and they said, no. You don't need to clean them out. You don't need to clean them every time you use them. Eventually, when you do want to clean them after many, many times of using them, you just soak them. You soak them in Murphy's oil soap and water and soak them for a few hours and it'll just clean right off. So you don't use stencils yeah. that much, I guess, right? I use, I don't use them that often, no. Um, I have... I've been buying a few here and there, but no, I haven't used them that much. I use them a lot. Yeah, they're they're fun. I mean, I I like to use them. You know, and they, I use them. Yes, I like them better than stamps. Oh yeah, me too. Because they're stencils and they're stamps, and I do have some stamps, but for some reason, I like stencils better than stamps. Yeah. So, Mary, you're probably mixing your colors with black and white. Is that right? Well, right now, this is just straight turquoise color. Uh, and uh -huh. then I'm going to start mixing some uh, black in here. This should have really been darker. I don't know. I started out too light, I think. But um, I got to get some white on here. Uh, so in uh -huh. Yeah. My, my um, gouache, gel gouaches are kind of dry surprising yeah. yeah so instead of me using black and white to create tints and shades of one color i am um oh thank you for sharing me out and welcome welcome oh i gotta see i didn't catch who the name was let me oh. say Um, let's see. Oh, Maria's Fun Times. Oh, hi, Maria's Fun Times. Thank you for sharing this out. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Yes, I um, I actually did a little um, voting challenge on my, my YouTube. Right. Um, yeah, to see about people with uh, wanting what to choice, do it. What choices did you give them? Collaboration or what else? Yeah, I had more art, um, more collaborations, or what was the third one? Jeez, did you ask them about interviews? Uh, no, I didn't do that. I don't, maybe I did. It was probably about more interviews. And <laughs> it seemed like people wanted more collaborations. And um, you're the only person I collaborate with. I mean, so I, I guess on your channel, you could... Said you're definitely welcome. So, I don't know. Like, why do you have? So, are you trying to now think of ways to do collaborations on your channel? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who. You know, I tried to do that once before, and, um, you know, nobody's game for it. That's the thing. You know, nobody's really game for it. 
Well, uh, you were asking other artists, other yeah. art channels? Yeah. Or you were asking Geo? No, other art channels. Yeah, that's what I mean. You should, yeah, that's what I was saying. You should only ask other art channels, but. Yeah, not Geo, no. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, before, before um, you agreed, I had asked a few people, too. It, yeah. And it wasn't easy to get anybody. Yeah, people are so afraid to get on, on YouTube or something. Well, no, it depends. Yeah, so one of the persons I asked had never live streamed before. But okay. she had her own YouTube channel, art YouTube channel, but she had never live streamed before. And I guess she, I guess she, she just, she was, she didn't take me up on the offer. I guess she was hesitant. And then because she's, ne she's never even live streamed before. And then um, other people, well, oh yes, that's right. I used to collaborate, not, I mean, I used to, for, for about a year, Gracie was my guest artist where I, where she did the painting and I just like, I would just watch and talk to her and ask her questions. Oh, yeah. It was, and then, then in the past year, every now when she comes on, we do like I I paint and she paints, and then uh, and then for a year I also did this thing where it wasn't really collaboration, but it was like Ian Jackson painting with watercolor, and then a bunch of us were on panel and we would talk and make jokes every. It was every Friday for a year. Oh really? And he would paint. Everybody would. Said hello there. Hi, Diana. Hello there. Hi. Welcome hello. to the live stream. Please share this out. Oh, I bet I have. I bet I almost have ten thumbs up. You, you guys, you're gonna be able to see. Some of you are new to my live streams. You're gonna see my happy dance. Yes. Let's see. How many thumbs up do you have? Let's see. I started off with six right before I, even before I got Ooh. started the live stream. I had five or six thumbs up already. It looks like eleven. I'll make it 12. It's 12. Okay. Thank you for 10 plus thumbs up. Time for happy dance. I, I do them at 10. I mean, the first 10 and then every five increment, every five. Oh. Davey, Japan, said hi there. Uh, Davey joined us. Davey coming to us from the UK. Oh, okay. Hi, Davey. <laughs> yeah, hi. Yeah, I, I said hi. Yeah. Good seeing ya. bunch of people popping in and they leave oh i see because i just a minute ago i looked and there was only two people watching okay now four. Oh, you guys when you when you come by it, it really helps out the channel if you stay for at least 15 minutes please like don't just say hello and then leave unless unless you absolutely have to or something please stay for at least 15 minutes it really helps out the channel yeah because it's all the analytics all so in the analytics. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm painting with Said hello everyone. She will be said hello. Oh wait, with simplistic motivation. I haven't heard her in long I haven't seen her in a long time. And Sheila B is here. Oh thanks. Yeah, she gave you a thumbs up. So we need a couple more and you can, oh, Amazon is Sheba here. Sheba B. 
Hi, Shiba B, the new friend. Simplistic Motivation is an old friend. Thank you for visiting Simplistic oh, nice. Motivation. Oh, almost 15 thumbs up. That's yeah. another happy dance for 15 thumbs up. Okay, so what I did is I made this darker because I'm going to be needing some light and dark in this painting. Simplistic motivation. Sid, how are you? Yes, long time no see. Simplistic motivation, and um, I mostly see you on Instagram. I see your posts on Instagram. I think simplistic motivation, and and let's see, I'm doing well. And Mary, Mary's not happy about her weather today. She's they're snowing. Look yeah, it's snowing. Well, heavy, it's flopped. heavy it's down. Heavy what like it's like a, a sleet. Yeah, like a snow and and rain mixture. So sleet's the worst. That's so dangerous. Yeah. yeah, it's it stopped. So you know, it just it's just miserable today. Oof, crappy. So we're supposed to get seventy two on Thursday. Yeah, you, yeah, you that's probably when, should be too, right? Yeah, we're gonna sp supposedly getting into the eighties. Can you believe that? Said share. Oh, she shared it. Oh, you shared it out. Thank you so much. And oh, so simplistic motivation. Well, well, gosh, I, I, I am in an art auction in May and been getting ready for it. I'm also an an, an admin and. I she, she lives in Florida, I believe. Simplistic, simplistic motivation. You live in Florida, right? Mary hates the cold too. I hate it. <laughs> But I don't know if I'd like being in Florida either. I mean, <laughs> got to worry about uh, tornadoes and all those things. Oh, uh, and awesome. oh yes, that I'm, I'm in an art. Uh, an, in an on, yeah, she lives in Florida. Yeah, I'm in an online art auction that's going to be in May. But I'm also the admin, one of the admins for it too. So we're having it's it's uh, it's. It's it's a little bit of work to um to well we have a we have we work for somebody she she has experience with it none of us have experience of being an admin in an auction but and so I, I had to, I worked hard for two months creating five paint five five I I worked hard creating five paintings just for the auction so and I I show them I I should probably make a little video about it um to show on Facebook I mean show on YouTube but I've been showing them mostly on you on Facebook cuz Facebook is where the auction's going to take place the week of May 9th to the 3rd I'm sorry 9th to the 13th I'll be talking Oh yes, hi Anthony. Hey Grayscale, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Yeah, he's he's our biggest. He's one of our biggest fans. Yes, he is. He takes us everywhere he goes. He's like, I'm in the car, I can't talk. I'm at a meeting, I can't talk. <laughs> like, gosh, he takes us everywhere. Yes, <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> And then he's told me a couple times. Huh? Okay, make sure to send me a message on Instagram. Okay. Oh, yes, I will. Simplistic motivation. Yes, I will. And guess what? I was looking. Uh, I was looking at the auction last month that Olga did. Like it's her regular artist. You know, last month, like not a Mert. Mm. Not. Yeah, not. I was looking at the auction that Olga does because she does one every month with like not emerging artists, but with her regular artists. They are charging pretty. Everything is under five hundred. And then I was supposed to surprise. There's this one artist that that very popular, and she, her nine by twelve painting on stretch canvas. The, the starting bid's one hundred and fifty. I'm like, what? Wow. I'm like, wow. I guess, I guess I'm gonna charge less than I thought I would because if I want to sell it, people are expecting to see lower prices. If if that's the prices that those people are charging. Oh my goodness. I don't want to overprice myself and then never sell anything. Yeah. 
that's the hard part. What do you sell it for? You know, well, now I, I'm trying to get the idea. Like I'm getting the idea by looking at the auction that she does. I, the, the prices are still up and I got it. I'm getting the idea from auction, the, her past month auction. And I'm, I'm like, nothing sells for more than $500. And a lot of them. Yeah, it's amazing. So I, I thought I knew what I was going to sell it for because I keep going back and forth. And mm -hmm. yeah, you just don't know how to yeah, do Yeah. So true. I'm buying a median price. Yes. So, um, I thought I knew what I kept, it's very hard. I kept going back and forth and what I, luckily I don't have to say what my price is. I have until May to, to find, figure it out. So I just, um, after, after looking again at, at like this, uh, this popular artist that, um, I was like, I was looking to see what, cause she's teaches on paint your heart and soul. And I'm like, I really, she taught, she teaches that, you know, that portrait with the stencils and I'm like, I really like her art. So I'm like, Oh, let me see. She was in the auction. Let me see what she charges. I couldn't believe it. A nine by 12 stretched canvas, um, starting bid 150. Wow. With the, with the buy it now price at 235. I'm like, are you kidding? That's all she's charging. If that's all she's charging, I guess, you know what? I guess I'm going to have to price, price it around that top notch too. Oh my. Yeah. It's hard. It, you know, like you just don't know what people want to pay for stuff. And if you pr overprice it, nobody wants to buy it. No. Well, I getting the, see, you get the idea by looking at these, the past auction. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's where I'm getting, that's where I get my, that's where I'm pretty much getting the idea from. Okay. Yeah, so Anthony says he does take us everywhere. Uh, you're painting a turquoise cow. A turquoise cow. And I'm painting a pink floor of uh, shades of red, everybody. You know, shades of tints and tints and I mean, tints of red are pink. So mine is all shades of red floral design. Simplistic motivation said wishing you luck. She will be said I can't see the paintings or anything. So don't mind me if I ask you what you're painting or whatever or what colors you're using. Be the difference clothing said hey and are fully blind. <gasps> and I have grayscale painting at Davy JY art with a pen at simplistic motivation and all watching ads. Hi, Joy. That's be the difference clothing. That's Joy. Hi. Hello, Joy. What you're painting, or I'll give you Sheba B. Are you on Facebook? Because it's all on Facebook. You're on Facebook, and I definitely am going to make a you a little you probably a shorts video about my um the artwork that I the artwork that I'm gonna and I'm I also have it shared on Instagram. Yeah, she I also shared on but Sheba B, are you on Facebook? What colors are we using? I'm using a turquoise. She's doing shades and tints of turquoise. My one color is red. And when you mix white with red, you know you get all shades of pink. Grayscale painting said you put difference. Waving hand with medium dark skin tone. Look, isn't that funny? They did it describes the emoji too. So it doesn't just say a thumbs up. It describes what skin tone the emo the thumbs up is. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is so uh, every funny. emoji. It, it describes it. It was so funny when I discovered this last time. I'm like, it's describing the emoji. So it'll say happy face with a happy face with a puzzled look or something like that. Like <laughs> You guys put emojis in the chat and is the, the um, speech chat's going to describe the emojis. That's funny. That is so funny. My, the Sheba B, I'll just let you know my color palette for these five paintings is very warm palette, very warm colors. All right, I show you some of them. Like this is not seeing it in the back, like as best as you can when I make. Oh. So 
There's one. See, I, you're not going to be able to see this at its best right, right now, but that's why I say go to Instagram or my Facebook or my Instagram. That's it's pretty. all a very warm color palette. Well, that's that has pretty. a lot of green in it, so. Yeah, mine's cool. I don't even know how you could. No, I'm talking about my um, my paintings for the auction. Oh, 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 oh. I don't okay. know how well you can see that right now. I know everybody on Facebook is always under a different name. Yeah. That's why I was asking. I see. Okay. Sheba B, what's your name on Facebook? And then we can become friends and then you can see my Facebook page. You can see my art better. Did it even show up? Where is it? She will be said. I love floral paintings. Marlene motivates said hi, Diana and Mary in chat. Wow, we're getting a good turnout today. Hi, Marlene. I bet we have 15. Oh, Melda's here too. Hi, Melda. Marlene motivates said hi, Melda. How you doing, Melda? Oh, she's got some great looking uh, food. I'll tell you. Two hearts. Marlene motivates. Said hi, Sheba. Hi, Melda. Hi, Marlene. So nice to see you guys today. Yes, if, um, Sheba. If you like florals, my my five paintings that'll be in the auction are are figurative, female figurative with lots of florals. painting. Said I used to laugh at adults putting up lines when I was a child. I realize now it's not funny at all. Faced with tears of joy, simplistic motivation, said hi, Marlene. You know, the 15, th 15 plus thumbs up. Next happy dance is gonna almost be in two more, two more thumbs up with um. <laughs> yeah. Skin tone dancing. What's that? <laughs> skin tone dancing. <laughs> That's cute. Mary's painting a turquoise cow and I'm painting all shades of red, reds and pinks because red is the one color I'm using and when you mix red and white you get pink. Floral. Floral design. Not real happy with that fan brush, but it needs to be stiffer. Wow, we have a lot more people here than usual. What what made everybody join come out today? You you just had extra time or something? They missed us. <laughs> Let me 
of wands. I think Mar Marlene's on her lunch break. Is that right? Oh, maybe so. Yeah. If she's still here. Wow, you just happened to see me on the home on the home page. Okay. Simplistic motivation said and stopped by to say hi, woman raising one hand. Yes, yeah, so glad you did stop by to say hi. Does anybody have any questions about art, making art, painting? You guys have any questions? Mono painting, mono colors. So in the chat, let me. I'm going to ask the suggestion in the chat. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a second picture now. Um, I'm still going to use all shades of pinks, pinks and reds, because red and pink. Here now. So, so what should I? Who, who has suggestions in the chat for what they'd like to see me paint with all shades of pinks, with all shades of pinks and reds? Okay, just. Just put your ideas in the chat. Scale painting said, I always have time for my two favorite outer city gangsters. <laughs> motivates says, Hi, Melba. <laughs> my outer city gangsters. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. And the, and the <laughs> speech chat said, Some that represents love. Oh, and it's and speech chat even said, Gangs does because he didn't put an <laughs> R. <laughs> if he even pronounced it right, gangsters. Gangsters. Because of our that because of the thumbnail I use sometimes that we look like <laughs> we look like white oh, yeah. rappers, white yeah. old age rappers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that's a cute one. That that thumbnail. Yeah, we're gangsters. <laughs> Something that represents love. Okay, any other suggestions in the chat? And Ooh, thank you, Simplistic Motivation. Put her idea in the chat. What? Who else would like to? What? What is something you'd like to see me paint with the shades of pinks and red? And pink and red is actually one color. We have one suggestion from Simplistic Motivation. I'm taking other suggestions. Yeah, we need love, peace, all kinds of things, right? Especially right now, <clears throat> we need some yeah. peace. Okay, I'll just wait a couple more minutes for anybody other, any more suggestions? Suggestions for, for what they want to see me paint. Okay, I have to dry this and I'll be waiting. I'll, I'll check again for suggestions after I've been drying this. Okay. <laughs>
Marlene motivates, said Diana, I love those colors. And Mary, the cow makes me want some milk. <laughs> yeah, he's out in pasture. <laughs> but I like that turquoise cow. Yeah, he's pretty cool, isn't he? He's he's starting to shape up a bit. He's definitely shaping up. Let's see. Okay, thank you, Simplistic Motivation, for she gave more than one suggestion. Okay, it'll be images of love and I on on a on a live stream. I cannot quickly I cannot quickly draw figures of. Like she's also suggested mother and daughter connections for Mother's Day. I huh? yeah. It's hard for me to. Said I like flowers and butterflies. So, who said that? Who said well, they like flowers and butterflies? Oh, oh she would be yeah. okay. I can include all that: flowers, butterflies, uh, symbols of love, the the Mother's Day thing. I can't. I cannot quickly draw figures. I figures take time to draw because I do a lot of figurative. I do a lot of include figures a lot in my paintings, but I cannot uh, quickly draw. It would just be like a cartoon kind of thing. If I did a mother and a daughter thing, I, I to, to quickly do it. I do it more like in a cartoon style. Um. I might not include the mother and daughter thing. Okay, symbols of love, flowers and butterflies. My red design would make a great tote pattern. Oh, you know, as a matter of fact, that I was looking into art licensing and in art licensing, simple does I mean, simple designs like that actually are the kind of things that they may that some places are looking for. Yeah, they like that. That that would be great for that. But I, that's that's I. You have to do be able to do Adobe Illustrator and I'm, and you cannot do everything from your iPad. She said you have to be able to do Adobe Illustrator and that. Hmm. Yep. That's oh, and so that threw me off thinking like, okay, wait a minute. That was a stumbling block for me to try to go into that further. The fact that I'd have to, and the fact that Adobe Illustrator also is a subscription that you like, you pay, pay monthly or something. Yeah. I don't know. And then I would have to learn Adobe Illustrator. And so maybe that's something for the future, but, um, but for now, for now I can't. This year, I'm not trying for that. But if for art licensing, that is the kind of thing that they, I mean, the designs are you can be used on T-shirts, tote bags, wallpaper, curtains, upholstery, um, some and even like uh, paintings, like people that buy like a painting at Walmart. Well, an, an artist first did that, and then the artist licensed that painting to be sold commercially like in walmart and places like that but that but besides that designs on any any surface that you can think of there's like a design that could be licensed to be on there but that's not that's not a project for this year <laughs> there's there's so much you can do you know it's uh it can be crazy so Butterflies, flowers, symbols of love, which that's for me, that's going to be hard. Oh, but all in shades of reds and pinks. Oh. That's Mary's phone, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I can't answer that. That's Lucille. I, uh, my friend Lucille just had some surgery. Um, my husband will answer it. And I'm going to visit her on Thursday. Mm. But I can't, um, I can't answer that right now. I'm surprised Stu's not um, answering it. Uh oh, but I hear. She's I doing hear. okay. Well, she had her whole um, shoulder joint put in. 
So uh, I don't know how she's doing. Uh, she said it hurts. How did she ever? Was she ever? How did she ever get injure her shoulder? You know, she's seventy six, and I think she fell, and it's just kind of arthritis and stuff. Oh right. You know, um, both of us, I guess, suffer from the osteoarthritis. So I think that's what it is, the osteoarthritis. But uh, she osteoarthritis is that's the kind of arthritis you were. That, you were not born with, is that right? Yeah, that comes from um, just age and lack of calcium, those kinds of things. Oh. And um, yeah, as you get older, that happens to you a little bit more. Yeah, some more than others. Yes. Like yes. I don't, I don't think my dad suffered from arthritis. Oh, well, that's my mother, good. my mother did somewhat, somewhat, but yeah, I think more, more women get it but no no oh, but my get husband it. gets it gets it off and on in his hip oh yeah okay and it can be very painful yes yes and his wrist sometimes oh yeah that hurts too wow for me it's my my these joints in my hand right here and here yes my hands i get it well i had that operation on my thumb and my doctor said that that's because women use their thumbs more, uh, I guess, with cooking and things like that. So you have to kind well, of- my job, it was my 25 year career that I did. Yes, well, you worked as an artist, uh, you know, with your career and everything, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, uh, it's, it's hard, that's, So grumpy, you'll be happy to hear this, Grayscale. Uh, last night, all night long, I was up with him because he was scratching and scratching and scratching, and it's in his ear. And I thought, oh, geez, he has an ear infection. And here it turns out, I think he has a tick. And ah. I, yeah, and I have to, I'm going to have to take him to the doctors tomorrow because he I, he won't let me take care of it. He won't let me get it out of there. So I called today and I said, I can't come today. I said, can I come in tomorrow I said, so you can get this out of there? I said, because he's always getting in trouble and they laugh because <laughs> they know how grumpy he is. <laughs> but he's yeah, like, but Hi, Finding Happiness. She said she could only pop in for a little bit. Oh, hi. Finding Happiness. Oh, how nice. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm doing my best job at a simple rose. Not nothing, not a rose that, you know, that you take a lot of time on. It's the kind of rose that I used to teach the kids how to draw. Oh, yeah. Easy ones, like an easy kind of thing. Well, uh, I liked Grayscale's painting recently. The one that he um, copied. Well, he I guess it was a Wilson Bickford type thing. Mm -hmm. That was real pretty. It was in a vase. Very pretty. Well, I, I, I saw one where he used really nice colors. Yeah, very pretty colors he's been using quite a bit. After he painted his statue, he started painting more. Because I was wondering what happened to him because I hadn't seen him on, you know. Yeah, I think my cow's going to take a while here. Now, when I was in, uh, I took a college class and it was in color and we had to do this. Oh, I forgot to write. Right. Yes, yeah, so I've done monochromatic paintings as lessons. I remember in different classes, one or more monochromatic, monochromatic paintings, right? Yeah, and we had to do it in gouache. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of doing it in gouache. Uh, just to... And usually, the, and I'm not making a green stem because this is all reds and pinks. That's pretty. 
Oh, bye. Oh, I didn't catch who it is, but bye. Thank you so much for joining. Please That's join us work. again next week, 1.30. We're on 1.30 to usually 1.30 to 3.30. We'd love our, to see you next week. Yeah. That's our little time period. And it's good to be back. I wasn't sure what was going on, but thank goodness we're back. I like this time. Hi, 1SP. Oh, 1S. Oh, Hey, at Marlene motivates that she would be at finding happiness in all you do. Hi, one SP. So nice for you to join oh, join hi. the live stream today. That's nice. Aw. Yes. Said by Marlene, waving hand with medium dark skin tone. Bye, Marlene. Thanks so much for joining today. Remember, keep in mind. We do this every Tuesday, every Tuesday, 1.30 p.m. Thank you. 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday. <laughs> He's not letting me get into my, much uh, talking there. I know, but I know it's annoying like that, but it but it, it does such a good service that I, I oh, just put yeah. up with it. Yeah, it does. I mean, because you at least get to know. Because you can catch people's comments right away instead of yeah. like, oh, it's delayed and like you didn't see it and you check every five minutes and then you didn't see their comment. Now you're ch checking their comment as soon as they come in. Yeah, it's nice. Responding it's nice. to their comment as soon as they come in. Okay. I think my Kyle's face is pretty cool here. Well, I'll, I'll look in a minute. But no green. I didn't use green for this time because it's all shades of pink. What? Oh, Tim Blessing Motivation, you're so generous and kind. Oh, how nice. So wow, that's a awesome. very generous super chat. I'll yeah. give you two happy song, two happy dances for that. For sure. Diana. Oh, cool. Simplistic motivation said hi one as very nice. <laughs> Like the peanut butter lady. Okay, watch this next one. Peanut butter lady has a boyfriend. Watch. <laughs> watch. Peanut butter lady has a boyfriend.
What? Oh, we're back. Oh yes, you see? GIF. GIF um GIF lady boyfriend is GIF. <laughs> Not Winnie the Pooh. You saw it? The power I, couple. Yeah, GIF I and GIF. <laughs> Oh, I like that your cow's face. So good. Oh, nice, huh? Yeah, he turned out cool. Trying to just get his body in now. Jiff and the Choosy Mothers. <laughs> a band, a band named Jiff and the Choosy Mothers. Oh, really? Oh, cool is that, huh? Oh, hi, Sleeve Stack. Oh, I used to, I, hey. I used to have be friends. I I dated once somebody who's um it was in a band called the Tube Top Mamas, and they oh. and they had tube tops saying Tube Top Mamas on them, and, oh. and I got one of the tube tops and wore it to one of their con one of their um gigs one time. <laughs> oh my. Well, that coffee I was talking about, that Derek Woods band coffee, that was uh, the gig we went to. Oh, this is a good one. We went to the other night. And, and he uh, actually makes his own, his, I mean, he actually puts a, a, his name on a coffee brand. Yeah, because um, the guys in the band all love coffee. So he made the coffee, you know, because the band was always drinking it, I guess. Well, we go into this coffee place and because I had to take pictures for this book, you know, that I'm doing. And um, I said to him, I said, do you mind if I take pictures of you guys? Because uh, I'm doing this for the book because he, he knows he's going to be a part of the book. And um, he says, no, but just don't get the pentagram in the book. I mean, in the picture, and I thought, the pentagram. Well, this was like a satanic a metal coffee shop, I guess, you know. <laughs> it was all this satanic stuff. I said, oh, my goodness. I was just, like, mortified. I thought, oh, I didn't know what to think. So I couldn't wait to get out of there. But the coffee's all gone. We're, we drank it all. And then I ordered that other coffee. Yeah, um, you ordered that coffee because... Yeah, yeah, that. Tell, yeah. Tell me how you like it, because I never have tried it. Yeah, I won't be getting it till May. Um, so it'll be a while. Hey. Before. Yeah, I ordered it because uh, what I did is I ordered it as a subscription. So it it'll come in, you know, like later. So, uh, but May, yeah, because it'll come every month. Oh, you you subscribe to it? Yeah. Yeah. Even though you don't know if you like, well, you can always cancel the subscription, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I got it like for sixteen bucks. I mean, you couldn't beat that because they had the sale and everything. Oh God, who's who's spirit? Who's spirit animal is the cow? Somebody just said in the chat, their spirit animal is the cow. Oh really? I like my spirit animal to be a dolphin. I really have affinity mm -hmm. for a dolphin. I had very, I had very interesting experience with dolphins dolphins before oh they're nice i swam dolphins with the fun. dolphins and i had a great very great interesting experience i bet that would have been fun yeah that had to be fun uh that was one sp that uh said that oh i never heard of somebody's spirit animal being the cow but i guess it could be yeah yes yeah oops a little bit too like but I, don't, I really like cats so i mean just the domestic cat but that i've never i never hear people saying their spirit animal is a cat yeah i, I mean like a cheetah or a lion maybe yeah, oh that's spirit animal's godzilla <laughs> uh. okay i'm looking for my butterfly stencils Cause somebody, oh yeah, Melda says she like she wanted me to add butterflies. So I'm looking. Hold on, I think I'm pretty. I know I do have them. I just gotta find them.
have the one with I'll be, I'll, okay, I'll be right back. I have to use the restroom. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye on the comments. See what's going on here. Yes, yeah, so did everybody have a nice holiday? I was very quiet, which I like. I don't like a lot of crazy stuff. My husband and I just stayed home. My one daughter came over. My other daughter had her other family over. And um, we just stayed home, which was nice. What are you talking about? Easter. It was nice. I didn't, we stayed home. My one daughter came over for lunch. And my other daughter, she had her other family over and we didn't go over there. So your youngest daughter, does she have kids? No kids, no. No. Mm. I don't think she's going to have any. I think yeah. she's just, uh, yeah, she's, they do, you know, like with him being a musician and all the traveling, you know, that he does. Oh, he's a professional music, full-time professional musician? Yeah, he is. It, you know, like he teaches drums and he he's always in, you know, in some sort of a gig somewhere with somebody. So, yeah, he, he, um. He's busy. So, and with her going to school, it's kind of hard because she's trying to finish that up. And she's kind of older now, so it's it's kind of hard to... She's, she's in graduate school? No, she's just undergraduate. Yeah. But uh, it's taken her quite a long time. See, she went, she first went and she got her uh, associate's degree in culinary arts. Oh, and then she worked, she worked like yeah, a chef or something? Yeah, she was a chef at the Greenbrier uh, in West Virginia, and she had a really bad accident, and she came home after that, and that was the end of her wanting to do that anymore. So I told her, I says, well, if you want to go to college, why don't you try to get a job at Pitt, which is a university here? Yeah, and, like be, work on their staff so that she could get she could get tuition re, re, yeah, reduction. Yeah, because she had spent so much money on um, culinary on, school. Uh, yeah, culinary school, and she was still paying that off. So, yeah, so that's what she did. Oh, I think I'm almost done with my. Here. So I, I did. I added a rose, two butterflies, florals. Oh, and the rose is a symbol for the love there that I put. That's a symbol for love. So I'm, I'm not adding any heart. It's frozen. Okay, no, it's not. I'm frozen. You're frozen. You're not. I am. Oh no. Okay, let me refresh. Simplistic motivation. Said cow looks beautiful. She will be. Said I didn't hear in the background. Did you get my FB name? Oh, no. Let me say your FB name. No, please type it in again. Please, please type your FB name in again, please, uh, Shiva. Okay. Well, I think my cow's done. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I wasn't sure how the gouache would work. I mean, this... Um, it, I love it, that color. Ugh. That's a beautiful shade. Beautiful shade. 
I might do the other one in a more of a purple color. Maybe somebody wants to buy your painting in here. Oh. Well, Who said their their spirit animal's cow is it one SP? Their spirit animal's a cow. Yeah, um, this is in my journal, so I'd have to make a call. I know, but you, you could cut off the. Oh yeah, could I could pull it out of there. Yeah, yeah. Anybody, if anybody's interested, there we go. My, I actually can make fairly decent prints on my uh, computer. I mean, my uh, printer. I have some. I have a laser printer, and I also have a um, workforce printer. Yeah, but the original art's better. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. She will be said that an Easter egg hunt for my six-year-old nephew. Grayscale painting says it is an excellent painting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Grayscale. Yeah, for uh, just one shade. I like working in one of Mm-hmm. It's different, you know, it's something different. Oh, I have some pink uh, ink sprays. I don't know if I want to, I don't know. I don't know if I should add pink, some pink sprays to it. Oh, that would be interesting. Also, she even said that is the cow in India is a nation that I love because Hindus are highly fond of the cow as well. Oh, right. One. So, Sheba B, please, please type in again your Facebook name. Let's see here. Oh, I hate these ink sprays. They get always clogged up. Oh yeah. And so then I bought new, I bought new containers to put them in. Uh huh. And I've never gotten around to doing it. Oh. Uh, you know what? A lot of people have that problem with them getting clogged. I know, and I found out the solution. I was asking one of the artists. Who had an online class with her solution she says i just i just buy empty containers which i did i bought some empty spray containers and she goes once that starts happening i just i, I pour it into a, a new new spray container new container all right here goes i got the spray i got this ink spray to work so let's see i have I was watching um I have missed most I've I've missed tons of the weeks of you know paint your heart and soul I've missed tons of them Oh yeah me but too But I, I was really interested in t in looking at her Jackie Hacksaver the, the it's the it's a it's one of the, it's either the, it was either la, I think it was last week or the week before it was week 15 Oh that sculpture oh. No, not a sculpture. Oh, 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 with the paints, yeah. It's the profile that has all these, like, designs around it. Yeah, oh, that was You so know what, what I'm talking about? Yeah. And she, yeah. Uses, she uses stencils a lot, actually. And yeah. I watched her whole, I watched her whole lesson uh, last night, and. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I was impressed with that, too, and. Uh, she uses Liquitex spray paint. And I think that is so pretty. It was so pretty. She uses, what did you say she uses? Uh, Liquitex spray paint. 
It's a yes, thing. I was going to get some because I already knew Katrina Coltez was using water based spray paints. And I'm like, you can use them indoors. And then she said yes. And I'm like, I kind of like, well, then I priced them on Amazon. I said, well, okay, this was a few months ago. And I'm like, okay, I'm not ready to splurge on that right yet. And I, and I, and I, oh, thank you. And I, but I couldn't believe that it, it wouldn't, that it wasn't toxic to use indoors. But now this artist is saying that too. So now I have it on my, I have it like waiting, waiting on my waiting list to maybe buy in the future, those spray paints. Uh -huh. And then, um, then the other thing is then she was talking about those trans, transparent translucent acrylic inks that are like she goes they, they act like stained glass i also want to try them yeah. and then the golden open open acrylic paints it's like oh my god they are so expensive yeah. you can buy a set of six for like 30 30 40 dollars a set of six. Oh my goodness and then and then if you want to buy two ounce tube they're like 12 dollars for two ounce tubes and i'm like that, I guess what I should just, I want to finish up the paints I have if I ever will finish them up. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it, it's, um, that I checked that, I think on um, Jerry's Waterama, they were cheaper, the paints, uh, the Liquitex paints. They were actually having a little sale on I'm it. I'm talking about golden. Oh, yeah, golden, yeah. The well, golden you know, open, they're golden yeah. open. All golden paints are expensive, but they are the best paints. I know, and I've never tried them, and I was like, uh, and I wanted to try. I, yeah. Eventually, I got. I want to try golden paints. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they are the best. I keep freezing. Goodness, and this, still, this, this is a problem that's been going on for a few weeks now, which I never used to have this problem. And nothing has changed about our internet that I know of. Maybe things change and I didn't and they and they haven't told us. Yeah, you never know. Okay, so I'm making my butterfly in purple colors. One SP, I, I guess you do artwork too. Thank you, one SP. And... Yeah, they're, they're pretty. That's so pretty. I, that's probably too much right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's so easy to do this. You know, like to get the, you know, one shade and then just get different um, one one value and change it you know the weather no i've the, never even had the weather bother my connection at all i only recently started having this in the past month i've never had any weather affecting my connection before yeah that's right i'm not on ethernet i'm on wi-fi weird that is weird okay so my purple background for this and I probably won't get done with this painting but hey your cow painting's not done oh no that's done I'm working oh, on my butterfly yeah I was like, what else are you gonna do your cow painting I was wondering <laughs> yeah, I picked that too in case you get because we were talking about that, you know. So I thought, well, I'll get something else here and uh, the butterfly. So I got these images off of Pixels or Pexels or however you say it. Um, I'm not exactly sure who the artists are. You don't have to know. Yeah. I mean, know. You're trying to be nice. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I do post that when I do something on my own channel. But you have not watched Jackie's uh, lesson yet? Oh, I did. You yes, must I, have, because how did you know she uses the spray paints and stuff? Yeah, I did. I watched the whole thing. I said, oh, I was going to try it. And then I thought, oh, I can't get those spray paints. I've been uh you don't have to have the spray paints to do it. Just have stencils. 
Oh, yeah, I guess I could. You do just it. need stencils, and then you just, uh, I'm just using a regular uh, filbert paintbrush for, you don't have to even have a stencil brush. I use a regular filbert paintbrush for putting in the. Well, yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, I, I, I just didn't think about that. I guess I was trying to, what I'm going to do with the. You don't spray. need to use those spray paints to do that project at all. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, I, I realize that. I, you know, I just kind of like to try things. Oh, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to try it too. And it's like, I, I have no more storage space for supplies. Well, that's the way with me. And I've been no buying. No more storage space. It's like, so I buy these paints and I'm like, oops, spray paints. And I'm like, where am I going to put them? Yeah. Well, I've been buying a lot of stuff for uh, the summers because we're going to be doing different art shows and craft shows and I'm getting those <laughs> things ready. I said, uh, so I bought a whole bunch of stuff for that. Shirts and stuff. Nobody's going to buy it. <laughs> Nobody buys it. But I want to have it on hand, you know. Because now that uh, Natalie's almost done with the semester so she can kind of help me out a little bit. Oh, thank you, SP. You're so kind. What did she say? He said. Yes, we do. And then Greg Gell has to be a, a smart, a smart a Alec. A smart, <laughs> a smart Alec. <laughs> okay. Diana is very emotional. Sounds very emotional. Maybe you need a trip to the basement. Is that what he said? Maybe you need a trip to the cellar. <laughs> well, easier to Emotional better. about what? Oh, you mean the wine cellar? That's what he's talking about. I don't have a wine cellar, but he's just making a joke like that. Yeah. Oh, come on. He loves to joke with Diana. <laughs> I sound emotional. Like, from what? From, oh, yeah, because my internet, my internet. Oh, yeah. The internet. That emotional. makes everybody emotional, not just me. Okay, I have to dry this. So I have to go over this twice because of the kind of watery. Case proven about what? <laughs> oh, Grace, girl. Stop giving me a hard time. <laughs> uh, see, I don't have any emotions anymore. <laughs> They can't pick on me. Oh. <laughs> I can't get this paint up. Oh god, I almost got it. I got it. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, it's a brand like I have I have a 20 set of metallic paints and i have not used all of them and so not not all of them have this plastic stopper that they put in there it's very hard to very hard to get uh, your fingernail under there to open it see how some of that stuff is hard to open If you want to watch something funny on YouTube, you should watch Hair Buddha. <laughs> this guy is so funny. He what? It's called Hair oh, Buddha. He's funny because why? What does he do? Is he a comedian? No, he watches these people who color their hair at home and make 
messes, you know, and he's like an um, he's a hairdresser. Yeah, he's a hairdresser. He's a barber, and the stuff. I mean, and he's he's a he has a foreign accent, so I don't know where he's from. But I have been laughing my butt off with him. He is so funny watching these people screwing up their hair. I mean, these people really screw them up, screw up their hair terribly. And uh, it's just a funny program. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But if you get a chance to watch it, just watch a couple episodes of them because you'll, you'll crack up. Listen to you, Grayscale. God. Warning. What's this? Pain fumes cause emotional distress and over aggravate behavior when life I don't have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I've had that kind of thing happen with the emotions with the uh, Wi Fi because it does suck with mine. I did that one interview and my husband said, you know, it wasn't very good. You were going in and out. I said, oh, that's because it was Wi-Fi. And I didn't realize it. And that was a good interview, too. You are, aren't you always on Wi-Fi? Well, yeah, but I can plug in an Ethernet cable. And I've been doing that now. Oh, you, use it, you have been doing an Ethernet cable now? Yes. yes. Wow, I might have to get that. Yeah, oh. uh, it does help. Okay, I know, I know it probably helps. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, the Ethernet now. You just this... plug it directly into your modem, and it does make a difference. And StreamYard actually recommends that um, using an Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi to get a better. Well, I know, and I've never had a problem with my Wi-Fi in the in the two year. And let's see, I started streaming in March of 2019, so three years of streaming. Never Bye. Had any Thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, hey, join us next week, Tuesday, 1.30, 1 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, every Tuesday, we're here to make your life enjoyable. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Jordan Mahoney, the blind world. Hi, Jordan. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Oh, he says he's here in spirit because he's boxing training. Oh, really? What's that he's doing? Boxing. Precious, so Angela's Precious World is here. Hi, Angela. Who lost the plot because her Wi-Fi wasn't working? I want to know. <laughs> That was Diana lost her Wi-Fi. She's freezing. But it's cold out, you know. Wow, well, nice turnout today. The blind. Yeah. Hello, ladies. Hello, Diana. Hello, Mary. I'm. I'm. Yes. Everyone missed us. Two weeks of oh, working on Jordan, work. you're doing boxing? That's awesome. You're doing boxing? That's pretty cool. Now, that would probably kill me. I could, I probably end up getting hurt really bad. I'm not a fighter at all. 
No, you can do it so that you don't get hurt. Like you have the trainer. I did have a trainer for six months for just not for boxing, but I, he brought in stuff where he held in the pads on his arms and told me to, and I had to wear real punching gloves and punch, oh, wow. punch, punch, punch. Yeah. And punch, and he say punch hard or punch hard or punch hard, and he and he just held up the foam and he just held up the pat the foam pads on his arms and just had me punch that. I had when I I was around twelve years old. I was taking self defense classes because everybody kind of I was like the person everybody picked on, you know. So I'm taking these self defense classes, and I had a guy J George Desperate. He wanted me to punch him in his abs and I kept punching. He kept saying harder and harder. <laughs> I'm like, how much harder can I get? He had like abs of steel. I couldn't do it. I just thought. I, okay, you know, I have to try this again. Oh, oh there she goes. She's going. Let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. I need some darks in here. Look what happened. It's all, it all mushed together. So I need a really dark back red. With some, um, more stencil, like on top. I tried that. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do, but I need a really dark red. I mean, I have to create my own dark red. Yeah. Back over this again. What a mess. Jordan Mahoney, the blonde, Aww. said, Hey, Andrew, our precious world. What's up? It's me, Jordan. Ray Scale Painting said, If Harvey Corman and Tim Conway did an art show, it would be you two ladies faced with tears of joy. Jordan Mahoney, the blonde world, said, Right, bye, guys. I have a boxing bag that I need to go box and just stay happy. Oh, have fun boxing. That's great to hear your boxing, Jordan. Nice. Yeah, sometimes you just need to get that stress out. And it's better. Oh, off. yeah. So I can do that by um running, like jog, jogging, like jog for like 10 minutes. And that gets you like all like exhaust, like tired and out of breath. And then I continue the fast walking. But I start with like maybe a 10 minute run jog. Uh-huh. Well, I that helps. I relieve my stress through painting um, because I can't. Did your painting ever get frustrating now? Um, this one that I'm doing is getting frustrating because I, I was trying to do it in me, but it's just not working out. Let's see. Which one? This one. I don't like it. So I might have to do it over again. What? What is it? A flower? A butterfly? No, it's a it's a portrait. Oh. I was trying to do a portrait, but it's just not, it's just not happening right. Well, the, the portrait looks pretty good. You like, well, <laughs> yeah, it's nice, but it's not looking like me. I wanted to try to get, oh, more. it's a self portrait. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get more like a, a portrait of me. So I'm going to keep working at it and, Eventually it'll happen. It'll work. 
sometimes it just, you know, takes a while. Oh, that happens to me all the time. I yeah. never have a painting that just goes smooth from beginning to end and like, oh, that was just so easy and fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm just working in my art journal. Yes, that kind of like I can do fun. I can do fun, easy artwork in my art journal. But like when I'm like, it's a painting that I want to try to sell or put in a show. It's like, it's, oh, it's, it's like, hard. oh, I did. It's like, it's like going through like, oh, I don't know what to do. And I really don't know what to do next. And I really don't. Oh, I tried this. I tried that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then I try some other things. Like, oh, now, now it's working. Now it's working. And then it's Isn't like that, that up and down. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a while. It just, you know, sometimes it just falls into place. And then other times you just have to work at it a little bit harder. But, you know, trying to learn to do these portraits, I didn't do everything. And then I signed up for that um, thing with the animals, you know, like the way. Uh, she, uh, the pet portrait? Yeah. You signed I, up for that? Yeah. Um, I was looking. I'm going to tell you what. That, that I wouldn't sign up for it because this lady is off screen the whole time. Like where she she's painting. Yeah, she's like painting and like her camera is up here, up here, and her painting's down here. So you can't see the top of what she's doing, which is uh, really drop awesome. a thumbs up. Please drop a thumbs up. Journey with KK. Thank you. So, Kiki, thank you so much for coming by. Please drop a thumbs up. Yeah, so. It's kind of disappointing, but I'm still watching it. I mean, you still get something out of it. It's just that, you know. But uh -huh. I spin. almost signed up for this other one that she um uh, was advertising, the one with the owl and the lace. Yeah, I um, I I signed up for that one. So then I'm like so tempted, but I have to really watch when I'm gonna I'm spending in April because in March we paid for our trip and stuff to uh, to Florida, uh -oh. and and yeah. I paid for and I bought some other things and I. And I had not bought and clothes bought clothes for a while, and I was buying buy clothes for our, my trip. And this, and then I'm like, okay, stop spending freeze for April. Watch <laughs> what you spend in April. So I'm like, I was so tempted, but then I read the course description, and I'm like, that is all basic stuff. Like, where is the thing that's like she's really after all this basic stuff? She's really going to teach you how to like photo re, photo realistic owl and lace. Yeah, I, I decided that I wanted to do it only because I figured I could maybe pick something up. I mean, you always pick something up, you know. I guess, but I'm like, I, I had to do, I have to do spending. Yeah, spend, control. I mean, spend as less as I can possibly in April. Yeah. Oh, I, I decided no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy that too. Plus the time, and like a lot of times I buy classes, and I'm like, I don't, and I don't do them. Yeah, well, that's how this one is with the, um, but I figure eventually I'll go through each one. I still have to finish a couple of them and the ones that I like. I mean, there's a, there's quite a bit in that um, thing that I don't really like a lot. I really like, I want to hear from that class that you're taking with the owl and the lace, how they paint, how she paints lace. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to see I, that. I, cannot, I can't even fathom. How do you paint that lace? Yeah, I mean, does she use like a stencil for that or yeah. Yeah, that should be interesting. It should be interesting. Yeah, I want to hear that. I want to hear about that one. Okay, so now Gonna paint these leaves. I had to add some whites in here. Oh, good. Okay.
Oops. Oh, I think it's time for a happy dance. Is it? Oh, okay. Probably. Okay, I got to add some stuff up here. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, we're almost at 25 thumbs up. Wow. You did good today, Diana. <laughs> yes, and thank you so much for your generous super chat. Simplistic motivation. You're so kind. Yeah, that was nice. Now, are you going through a travel agency for your trip, or are you just did uh, you just plan no. it? No, so, uh, no. I used I uh, to help find a hotel. Oh yeah, to put together a package of the hotel, flight, and car rental. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I usually use Expedia. Oh, okay. But the last time I ever physically went to a travel agent and said that must have been like that must be like thirty years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering if you um use the travel no, i use expedia for the longest time i've been yeah. using expedia to get the package the package of a flight car rental and hotel oh okay i want to go to savannah because mm. that's yeah that's supposed to be an artsy kind of place and oh. and i i've always wanted to try to to go to um I can't think. It's in Louisiana, you know, the big town. The, uh, New, Orleans. New, Orleans. New Orleans. I'd love to try to go to New Orleans. Yeah, that would be nice too, music wise. Well, I think we're with my son in law uh, and my youngest daughter. We're maybe going to go to um, Macon. Uh, we're going to go to the crossroad. Not Macon. Um, I don't know where it's at. To tell you the truth, but we're gonna go to the crossroads. Wait, when? Uh probably oh, oh, you planned a trip. Yeah, we didn't plan it yet. We're we're thinking about it. Um he was to go to Georgia. Uh well he yeah, I want to go to Savannah. That was that's one place I want to go to. But he's he's uh trying to make a trip where we're all gonna go to um the place where Robert Johnson, uh, the crossroads. I don't know if you know that story. He sold his no. soul to the devil. It's uh, oh, I heard that in a song. Yeah. So it's it's the crossroads. I and I don't I don't know. Somebody knows where that's at because I don't know where it's at. I can't remember what he said. But um, we're trying to think about that. We might go. Well, that's good. You're thinking about going on a trip. Yeah, well, I'm thinking of two trips. <laughs> I want to go to Savannah as soon as things settle down a little bit with uh, weather and, and things like that, too. Because uh, they're saying now this corona or whatever is happening again, it's uh, happening in Philadelphia. Did you hear that? No, I don't listen to the news. I never listen to the news. So, oh. but... Um, some but outbreak of it we're always going to be talking about you don't think you think this is ever going to end and it's no. also that there's a fear factor they just want to instill fear and it's like and they blow it up more than what it is oh yeah in many cases sure. they're blowing up the thing more than what it is it is yeah they they're saying there's like a big surge and uh i says oh crying out loud like already leave us alone i'm so tired of hearing it yeah that's yeah. where you just make up your own mind and like you got to make up your own mind and stop and so 
say you're going to keep living in fear or you're going to like, you know, you took reasonable precautions What you had the vaccine and all that. And if you yes. want to wear a mask, wear a mask and you got the, the vaccine. And so, and I don't think you should be fearing about well, that's living true. your life if you've done, taken the necessary precautions. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then I got to worry about Sally because of her age. I don't know how she will do in a, um, in a kennel, uh, yeah, uh, you know, so, uh, if we don't drive now, I can't take grumpy cause he barks the whole time. So he would be horrible, but, um, I would like to, you know, be able I to thought go. Your daughter, with, your daughters would come take care of them. Well, um, grumpy, it wouldn't be too bad, but I don't think Sally can be left alone that long. She's, a she's, she's not that kind of dog. You know, she's, got to have people uh grumpy you know i mean heck he was chained up for i don't know how many weeks you know so but uh yeah so i'm not sure how that would work um because they offered well not my oldest daughter because she doesn't like animals but um my uh son-in-law my you know youngest daughter's um husband said we'll take care of them uh you know we can feed them and everything and i thought that's that's good but i don't know how the reaction would be you know so it's it's just a mess really. oh, 25 thumbs up thanks james okay. go, go, go. nice to see you there we go Please stick around for my happy dance look happy at this dance. happy dance time thumbs up yay james thank you <laughs> chat yeah james gype gype here or gip gip i think it must be gype no it's gype gype I, and i think he usually doesn't stay long he he's he's nice enough to drop a thumbs up and he, he leaves you know how big his yeah. channel is Thirty thousand subscribers oh my gosh he's he's basically a networking channel he's just a, i mean maybe oh yeah i think he might make a few other but he might make some other videos that basically he's a networking channel. Oh my. Wow. Sort of like a uh, uh, tuber yeah, chat. Yeah, like tuber chat. But I've never seen a networking channel be so big as 30,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. I mean, it's totally different than the way he does it is totally different than Tuber Chat. So, yeah. Which one's different, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of network, all these different networking streams. There, they usually are. Each one's different. Yeah. So people are lurking, I guess, and they can't get to the chat right now. We got lurkers. <laughs> <laughs> lurkers is better than no one. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, my uh, thank you, lurkers. Thank you, lurkers, for being there. My uh, Saturday night wasn't too good, I guess, because it was like Easter. People were probably doing stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That was pretty bad. He was pretty interesting, though. He a musician. This week, I have um, an artist. Just one. The girl, the other girl that I was going to have, her brother is in the hospital on in ICU, so she couldn't make it. So I have to reschedule her. But uh Oh hi Cliff. Hi Cliff. Oh, I saw it was Bobby. Cliff, I I saw it was Bobby's birthday um just the other day. A April 15th. April 15th is his birthday or something. Have you talked to Bobby recently, Cliff? Now who's Bobby? Uh Bobby's a is a mutual friend of ours who he actually helped he helped me a lot getting my watch hours oh nice he used to nice. like when i live streamed he used to like send all his friend try to send as many people as he could over to my live stream and and then uh, the time on the time that i did the my 11 hour live stream it was 11 hours long it was him and his and him and his friends that they would stay on panel with me for, uh -huh. for the 11 hours be on panel with me oh how nice wow that was nice oh you haven't talked for a while now okay so how are you cliff how's it going which one of the dogs what kind are they that need to be around people She, I think all kinds of dogs do. Sheba wants to know which one of the dogs, what kind are they that need to be around people? I think all dogs do, don't they? Yeah, yeah pro well, yeah, she's a Bichon. I mean, she was bred to be near, you know, a per people person. And she's older now. And I'm just so afraid that if I put her in a kennel, it could kill her, you know, because she's so used to us. And um, that has me a little concerned. That's that's my only drawback with her. Because I don't know how she'd handle it. Cliff never, never, Cliff, oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Cliff says he loves the painting that you sent him. That he oh, won. good. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, that turned out nice. That was pretty. Yeah, he won the painting that time. Yeah, the one that you had done on the stream. Yes, it was uh, a, I think it was a, what, what, it was a flower. It was, I don't, I think it was, oh, it was crocus. That's it. It was crocus. Yeah, that was a nice painting. That turned out nice. Cliff, please give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up, Cliff, please. Thumbs up. Sheba B, what what's your Facebook name? Cliff's a dog lover. Aw. He has big dogs. Oh, biggies. Oh yeah. See, I, I was always afraid of the big ones because I can't handle them. I mean, oh, I yeah, you can't walk them. Yeah. Um, grumpy. I used to have to walk a 95-pound dog. Oh, my gosh. I had to wrap the, the leash around my waist because if he saw, if she saw a squirrel, she'd be, she would jump off to, after the squirrel. And if I, and I would have to hold my weight and it was really hard. I have to hold it so that she couldn't pull me. Oh, my gosh. It was hard. It was horrible. Yeah. Oof. And one day she bit the postman. Oh, no kidding. Oh my yes, god. I was trying to bring she was 
we used to just let her out in the backyard because that's all fenced in. And then I was trying to bring her, I was trying to bring her around from the backyard to the front yard. And it, she, uh, every day she used to bark at the mailman through the window. And then uh -huh. she saw the mailman and got away from me, got away oh. from me and sunk her teeth. Didn't, didn't, not a chunk, didn't bite a chunk, just on um, puncture wound, just puncture wound. Uh -huh. And oh, God. oh my goodness. That was, I know, it was so sad, that was so sad that had yeah. happened, but wow. it all, at least it wasn't like, a, oh yeah, and luckily he had, he had like the, the, the pepper spray or mace, and that, that's oh, the yeah. way he got, he got the dog off of him. Oh my gosh, that would be scary. But that dog had been abused, so it was horrible, like, Aww. so my ex-boyfriend was her fourth owner. Oh, wow. And she, and like, he treated her very nice, but she just had like, she just had damage. She had damage from, I think, previous abusive owners. Aw. I don't know why people are so mean that way. Why do they have to abuse a dog? Those people that harm animals are also the people that are likely to murder people. Oh, geez. If, if you already are harming animals, those are the people that actually kill people. Well, speaking of animals, um, I don't know if you've been having a hard time getting cat food for your dog, like the moist kind. I cat go, food for my cat. Well, yeah, for your cat. I'm sorry. No, oh, no, no. We did go to no. Actually, we did go to the uh, we go because we go to the pet store. We go to like Pet Smart or whatever, oh, and yeah, we yeah, did yeah. notice the shells were almost the shells were lot more bare than usual but i'm like thinking well i don't know like we come we come here like every like every two months so maybe they're just uh -huh. like waiting to stock the shelves so i don't know yeah well it's a shortage so today i we went grocery shopping this morning and no dog food that i like you know my dogs like caesar dog food uh well my sally does and she can't eat anything else because she gets sick on it uh, Grumpy can't eat dog food at all. I have to make him ground meat all the time. Good. So, uh, yeah, he, he's real sensitive. So, um, so I asked, I said to the checkout lady, I, I said, what's going on with the dog food? And she says, well, she says, it seems like they're more concerned about people food right now. They don't really care about the animals. And I thought, that's just not right. I mean, these animals are going to have a problem. They're going to not eat. And they're not going to have anything to eat. I said, I, I don't understand things sometimes. I just, you know, it just bothers me. So, yeah. So, I had I went to another store. Thank goodness they had some. And I bought a whole bunch. But can you, can you imagine just letting your dog starve? No, I can't even imagine. Yeah, I mean, you can't even imagine. It's a whole different mindset of a person. Yeah, I mean, how can you just do that? Because there are any you animals. Can. The normal people don't. But Sheba B has a question for you. Like she, because oh. she said you, she heard that one of your dogs can't be alone, and so she was wondering about that. Yeah, she's yeah, my dog that can't be alone is my Bichon. She's twelve years old, and um. I don't know that she would do well in a kennel. Now, Grumpy is uh, a Shih Tzu mix. He is a rescue from Puerto Rico. And he was chained up for a long, uh, for a period of time. Now, I think that he can be in a kennel because he's not like a, a dog that is like attached that way. I mean, he likes to um, sit on your lap and things like that, but he's not some a dog that's going to, like, probably miss us and die, where I think Sally would. I think that her, her you know, her genetic makeup is just a little different. So, yeah, I just, um, I think it would be a little bit difficult. My picture's all blurry. God. It looks nice. Well, it looks blurry to you, but it looks nice here. Oh, thank you. That yeah, looks good. And I'm probably going to have to uh, get myself together because I got to start my afternoon 
cooking. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're winding this up. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, Simplistic Motivation, for the generous super chat. I really appreciate it so much. And thanks, Diane. I'm glad we're back. I'm glad you were able to do this again. So it's been, it was fun today. Okay. Okay. I got it this time, Sheba. Thank you. I will. Okay. I'm going to front. I, and on Facebook, I'm Diana Art, just Diana Art, A R T. So if, if you get a friend request from me, that's, that's who it is. I'm, I'm, okay. That's who, who's friend requesting you. Yeah. I think I'm just Mary Dunn, Pittsburgh artist. You can put, look up that Pittsburgh artist. No, you're Mary Dunn. Yeah, I'm Mary Dunn on there. Um, because I think there's so many Mary Dunn's, so you'd have to put the Pittsburgh artist in oh, there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Thank I know. Sorry you put that in for the third time. I didn't catch it those other times. I caught it this time though. Thank you. You guys have a good week and we'll see you next week. Yeah, next next Tuesday, 1 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Happy dance. Bye-bye.